Hello, before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload new videos. Say hello to the Rose Phantom, Rolls Royce tells us that yes, 1 million stitches were sewn to create this vision of flowers throughout the Rose Phantom's interior. It's the product of the company's bespoke collective, and the brainchild of an unnamed, Stockholm-based entrepreneur, who absolutely loves flowers and presumably is very rich. How rich? That's unknown, as is the cost of creating something like this. Suffice it to say, you don't buy this kind of detail work on a finance plan. That's what we have here with this one of one Rolls Royce Phantom, appropriately named the Rose Phantom. Starting at $452,750, the 2020 Rolls Royce Phantom is one of the most, if not the most, expensive new cars money can buy in the United States. Like its direct predecessor, the Phantom is a gargantuan saloon that stands nearly as tall as some Range Rovers and is almost 6 meters long if you opt for the extended wheelbase model. Underneath a bonnet long enough to be used as a runway sits a 6.75-litre V12 that's bolstered by a couple of turbochargers. Power is most definitely adequate, there's enough of it to fling the Phantom from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a little over 5 seconds. But although it's quick and has both adaptive air suspension and four-wheel steering to make it the most nimble Phantom to date, this is no sports saloon. No, this is a car built to cosset and calm its occupants in their own bespoke leather-lined cocoon. How you decorate this cocoon is almost entirely up to you, there is a brochure full of colors, upholsteries and options you can choose from. And, if your bank balance has enough noughts before the decimal point, Rolls-Royce will gladly add to, remove from or adapt your Phantom in any way you like. Although we suspect Rolls-Royce would say the Phantom is without rivals, we'd argue that the Bentley Mulsan serves as a similarly bespoke and far sportier alternative, while the Mercedes Maybach S-Class is also worth a look. Sure, you could argue that the regular S-Class, BMW 7 Series and Audi A8 are also rivals, but that's like suggesting that an M&S meal deal is comparable to a hamper from Fortnum's. Call off the search. The height of luxury vehicles has been found and its name is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan Black Badge. It's the latest version of the high-end SUV and pulls out all the stops to underline its dominance over its rivals. A secret fridge with crystal glasses and decanter. Check. Electric powered curtains in the rear. Check. Fluffy carpets that you want to plunge your bare feet into. You better believe that's a check. But the Cullinan Black Badge is much more than a luxury hotel on wheels. It's also gunning for a younger demographic with a selection of millennial-friendly features and treats that shakes off its somewhat conservative label. It all starts with the outside of the vehicle. Deep blacks that are painstakingly created and used can be found in the enormous grille, 22-inch rims and Rolls-Royce's Spirit of Ecstasy statue on the front. These dark flourishes play exceptionally well with the electric blue exterior of our test vehicle. Combined, it makes for the type of vehicle you'd see in a music video. It'd be the centerpiece as the ladies and gents jig around it whilst occasionally blinding the cameraman with its ultra-bright headlights. The point of a Rolls-Royce is that you pay top dollar for a more pleasant, more thoughtful, more unique experience. The Dawn is a perfect execution of this design philosophy. It gets tons of attention, feels amazing to drive and is so free of substantive faults that a mortal passing judgment on it feels almost trite. There's nothing more satisfying than knowing you're driving around in a car that nobody has. It's even more satisfying when it sports a twin-turbocharged V12 engine. This latest iteration of the two-door Wraith is no exception, the Wraith Black Badge was created with the sole aim of upping torque output and creating a slightly more dynamic drive in comparison to the standard Wraith.
The Cullinan is among the newest additions to the Rolls-Royce lineup, and it is notably the first all-wheel drive vehicle and SUV offered under this label. Given these points, the 2020 Rolls-Royce Cullinan is a real standout on the road. With only a few thousand Cullinan SUVs on the road worldwide thus far, this vehicle with bespoke design elements will undoubtedly turn heads. Throughout the exterior, the vehicle's high ground clearance, geometric LED headlights, rectangular grille and pronounced hood define its regal style. You can select from 32 exterior color options with 5-wheel design options. Inside, all 12 color options are available with high-quality leather trim and 8 gorgeous species of wood for the accents. The 2020 Rolls-Royce Cullinan is designed to deliver more than a majestic presence on the road. This is a compelling vehicle that falls into the full-size luxury SUV class. All trims for 2020 are equipped with the same V12, twin-turbo 6.75-litre gas engine that promises to astound you with 563 horsepower. The One New Model A Year expansion of Rolls-Royce continues. The world's most recognizable name in luxury motoring now comprises, depending on your generosity, as many as seven models. It would be perfectly natural to think of it as a convertible version of the Wraith. The two share the same platform and all but the same mechanicals. But Rolls, we suppose, is intending you to think of the Dawn as a model in its own right, because it wants the Dawn to have a character of its own right, not for the Dawn the dynamism of the Wraith, instead, this car is meant to be, the most social, of luxury dropheads, it has four seats, not two plus two seats, for those, who wish to bathe in the sunlight of the world's most exclusive social hotspots. Just in case you think Rolls-Royce hasn't quite finished beating eggs into this particular pudding, it says the Dawn is, no less, the sexiest Rolls-Royce ever built. Whatever, it's certainly the soft roof Dawn that'll be built in the biggest numbers. The Dawn is not a Wraith drop top, remember, although it does use the same BMW-based architecture. It has the same wheelbase and the same twin-turbocharged 6.6-litre V12 engine driving through the same 8-speed automatic gearbox. Nonetheless, experience has shown us that it's still possible to give broadly similar cars very different characters. And although the Dawn is intended to have a character that's different from the Wraiths, to our mind the Dawn will have an even greater need to feel different from the Phantom Drophead Coupe. From the off, then, it's worth noting that the Dawn makes rather a lot less power than the Wraith. The engine comes in ghost output, at 563 bhp at 5250 revolutions per minute and 575 pound-feet at 1500 revolutions per minute, some way shy of the Wraith's 624 bhp. The architecture is the bespoke aluminium spaceframe which arrived first in last year's Phantom and will eventually underpin all Rolls Royces, distancing the cheaper cars, Ghost, Wraith, Dawn, from the BMW Group architecture origins they currently share. The same 6.75 litre twin turbocharged V12 as in the Phantom sits at the front, making 563 bhp and tweaked for the greater low down urge fit for an SUV, there's some 627 pound feet of it from only 1600 revolutions per minute. It drives through an 8 speed automatic gearbox on which you can't select gears yourself, the sat nav assists gear selection, to all four wheels via a derivative, development, select a word that doesn't make Rolls engineers wince, of BMW's xDrive four wheel drive system. There are stronger components than in a four wheel drive 3 series but the principle is the same, an electronically controlled clutch behind the gearbox can let up to 100% of power to the rear axle, or divert up to 50% to the front via a shaft and differential beneath the engine. Both front and rear differentials are open, not locking, but there's torque vectoring via braking to stop an individual wheel spinning, and in off-road mode, if you also switch the stability control off, it locks the car in 50-50 all-wheel drive. Unlike with, say, a Bentley Bentayga or Range Rover, there's only one off-road mode, rather than options such as rock, crawl, sand and so on, because Rolls-Royce says it wants its cars to be easier of use. There's no low ratio transfer case for the gearbox, either.
but there is that 627 pound feet from 1,600 revolutions per minute, which should help. The towing limit is around 2,600 kilograms because that's the limit of the optional deployable tow bar. Work is afoot to make it the 3,500 kilograms the chassis can already handle. Ultimately, then, this big car is a Rolls Royce at heart. Less outwardly dynamic but more comfortable than a Bentley and far more luxurious than the most expensive Range Rover. It looks like a Rolls Royce, feels like one, drives like one and, at £250,000 before you start adding options, of which you can choose a lot, is priced like one. Controversial. Only, I suspect, for people who weren't ever going to be interested anyway. If you want one, in its execution it hits the spot entirely. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.